I want to hit on a Thursday game. All right. The Gus Bus. UCF okay. 36, Boise 31. They were down, hell of a comeback, baby. This down is an exciting football three, game. Three touchdowns. They were down three touchdowns, and Boise d- looked awful in that second half. The They finally got the efficiency they were looking for. Dylan Gabriel, coming into this game, had only thrown an, a uh, turnover-worthy pass on, like, I want to say it was like 2% of his passes leading up to this He's game. He's really good. And He's really good. Listen, I told people, this is a guy that's a dark horse for the Heisman, baby. No, but then Don't he, but be then scared. He's, he's making these mistakes early in this game that uh, we have not seen him make. He doesn't make these kind of throws. He doesn't do this kind of stuff. And, and they're down, what, 21 to nothing, I believe, early? And then uh, they, I don't remember it was 21. Or was it, or, 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 uh, shit, I'd have to go back and look I at the box remember. score. I don't remember. They were, they were down. They were down a lot. Yes, they they were. I think they were down three touchdowns at one point. Maybe. Yeah, it was twenty-one to nothing, and then they started okay. their comeback. But man, I'm telling. You, and and the middle eight, what I've talked about multiple times, the middle eight, the last four of the second quarter, the first four of the third quarter, UCF won that one fourteen to nothing, and that was the complete turnaround of this game. I I just UCF had to get through this spot. Boise looks like they can be really really good, and they can be good in the Mountain West, but man. When you crumple like that in that spot. So let me tell you why I think UCF was able to do what they did in the second half of this game. It's because Gus stays dedicated to the run, and eventually it breaks your back. He wears down defenses. He runs sideline to sideline, and you have even his pass plays are sideline to sideline, and you have to chase these bastards all over the field. How much and better? By the time, and, and so the first half, defenses can hang with these guys. Yeah. But by the second half, by the third, end of the third quarter, beginning of the fourth quarter, unless you're playing one of these crazy defenses like in Alabama that just rotate dudes in and they got 27 five stars to rotate through there, every other team is going to be gassed. Nobody is prepared physically in shape to hang with that. Nobody's built for it. Yes. In this, hey, by the way, how much better did Isaiah Bowser look at running back for Gus Malzahn? Well, this is what Gus does. This is what this offense does. Dylan Gabriel also, the reason he's throwing those passes is because that's also what Gus does. Gus ain't playing anything safe, okay? This is this is not Gus at Auburn, where the the athletic department is putting handcuffs on him. This is Gus at Arkansas State for one year, saying, we got nothing to lose. Let's throw this shit at the wall and let's go. Yeah. I mean, it it was a lot of fun to watch. It was a lot of. That's fun. That's gonna be the most fun team to watch all year. All year, by the way. I I think you might be right about that. If so, whatever conference they land in, if there's not a big TV deal for that conference, somebody's leaving money on the table for that team right there because the nation will fall in love with that team because they're a lot of fun to watch. Modest, modest cowboy corrected me. It was twenty four to seven. It was not. That's what I thought it was. I thought yeah. I didn't think. I didn't think that they were scoreless. I knew they were down big, yep. but I didn't think they were scoreless. Uh, agreed. Agreed. Corgi said the only team that looks as expected was Alabama, literally. Uh, kind of like uh, there, there were, there's flaws. There's flaws for I'm not taking, I'm not, uh, listen, that was a bad Miami team. That was a bad Miami team. Yeah, they were. Like, like a real bad Miami team. And that happens. Bama's really good. Bama wins 80% of their games before they even get off the bus just for this intimidation factor. And that happens. But if you're not prepared, they're going to roll you. That that doesn't mean they're going to roll everybody else. I think Florida is going to be a lot better than Miami. I think, I think A&M is yeah. going to be better than Miami. Not everybody showed what they have this week. I'm okay with that. Miami Getting- should have brought their best game. I think they did. I think they're not good at football. Yeah, they're not. They're not. Back to this UCF and Boise game to wrap it up. Uh, The difference in the game here, rushing EPA, UCF 11.01 EPA per rush or or for the game, and rushing EPA for Boise, negative 9.0. I mean, that's it. What do you you even do with that? Like, if you cannot run the ball, if you can't get any momentum going. And not able to run the ball on UCF, it ain't like they got a great defense here. They they have upgraded that defensive line. Remember, they got Big Cat Bryant, and and he came in and helped. I know they've upgraded, but but you understand what I'm saying. One one defensive lineman does not change the defense to stop a run. You're just running away from him. (laughs) All right? I mean, it's not that damn hard. The the fact that you're not – I think this Boise team – now, I said all the good things about UCF. I think this Boise team might not be great. 
Okay. I, I think that they are going to be good enough to be able to compete in the Mountain West. Well, um, okay. Yeah, but, but we normally just hand them the Mountain West. And no, now, I don't think we're doing that. I think there are two or three teams in that Mountain West team that are going to give them a run for their money. Uh, you, you might be right about that. You might be right. Uh, very quickly, uh, we got like 31 guys watching this. If you will do us a favor, go ahead and hit like on the YouTube video for us. Share the show out. We certainly appreciate that. And make sure you're subscribed to the podcast. Go to BetUS, where the game begins. Promo code NCAAF2021 gives you 125% deposit bonus up to $2,500. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.